Hey what's up guys welcome back to another Monster Hunter video so in today's video I'm gonna be reviewing the Monster Moon um so that's just a shortened name for this guy uh, he is in the Legends Pass right now you can get him just by purchasing the pass so this is a Monster Moon Ming as you guys could see um pretty interesting design huh if you ask me so it's a light cosmic mythic monster uh it looks like it's a supporter who gives multiple control immunities that's interesting all right so uh we got him here thanks to social point um they gave me the resources and everything that's needed to review this monster for you guys from level 1 to 150 so once again thanks to them but anyways it looks like that my hatchery is um full so i'm gonna have to sell this unfortunately real quick it's okay we're gonna go ahead and collect this here we go we're gonna hatch it and uh hopefully we'll get three results open let's see i feel like i'm gonna get one yeah that's just my luck that's just my luck what the heck look at his eyes you can barely see his eyes wait no you can't see his eyes unless those are those pink looking things on his face his eyes i'm not sure it doesn't matter we're gonna go ahead and place him here um so this is what moon look okay that is his eyes yeah those uh pink things are his eyes <laughs> um i don't know what his ultimate really did there but um let's see here so this is the monster you have immune to control the trait immune to blind as a rank one um trait so that was rank zero immune to control all right rank one is immune to blind and then rank three you have 50 percent damage mirror so basically reflects 50 percent of the incoming damage uh, of course this is a light mythic monster and um the ultimate it is peace is the aim removes all negative status effects from all allies applies evasion double damage and immune to control to all allies okay that's a pretty good support type of special skill but here we go we're gonna quickly take this monster up to level 100 there we go and these are the stats you get about 7304 strength 7 71,780 life 6006 speed all right i'm gonna go ahead and free these real quick and uh relics you get a revival lesson just an asset basically but if you have a revival lesson you can go ahead and equip it so i have one i'm gonna equip it for now um i'm not gonna equip the amulet just yet because um, there's, for example, shares of amulet that remove stamina, and then there are some types of elements or, or amulets that heal him, right? So, we're going to take a look at those um, in a second. The skills first, and then we're going to decide what we need. Palm Mine is one of them. It's a moderate special damage to on one enemy, applies immunity to possession, and blight to all enemies. So, the immune to blind to everybody is kind of decent. Um, the possession and corruption, I mean, at rank 0... You don't really need it, but your allies does. I wish this also cleansed. That would have been really, really good. Unfortunately, it does not. But anyways, escape is the key. Applies evasion and gives one extra turn. Okay, we'll take that. Um, so, yeah, the extra turn. It You have evasion for two turns there. So once you get the extra turn, you attack or do whatever you want, right? Um, and then you have evasion. So you don't really have to worry about um, anticipation. Okay, if the enemy has it. Neither hot nor cold. Deals moderate special damage to one enemy applies immune to freeze and burn to all allies. Okay, so you basically get an immunity to burn and freeze. Interesting. Alright, lots of immunities I say. Um, elegant sidekick. Uh, deals low light damage to all enemies applies something to all enemies. So you're reducing accuracy here? That's just an AoE sunburn. Now... I recommend running at least never mind this one deals damage this one deals damage so you don't really have to worry about that um, but it was, what I was gonna say it was run a type of skill like for example this one it's like a single target and it deals damage right zero cooldown if you want to run this over the elegant sidekick you can just because it's a zero um, turn cooldown and also it's because uh, it's against one single target but you don't really have to worry about that you already have neither nor or hot nor cold and it's also calm mind that um is a single target so you know if you face any monsters with dodge areas or anything you don't really gotta worry about those so you have those other two skills 
Um, so if you want to have another support types of skill um, on this last slot instead of having this one, then above fear and anger is one of them. So basically it's a moderate special damage to one enemy, applies immunity to stun and daze to all allies. So daze and stun, you could get that. And then there's also removing all negative side effects applies stamina regen. But here's the thing, this isn't really that bad since um, it's a zero cooldown and zero stamina. It's a spamble skill. So let's say they continuously apply tortures on you or whatever effect. You can continuously cleanse that over and over again. And then the last one is basically sunburn to all enemies. Uh, it costs 22 stamina and zero cooldown. So he does have um, a couple of zero cooldown skills that you can run. It's really up to you. Um, for the last one, you could run above fear and angel, elegant kick, or water flexibility. And that's it. Those three skills you can run, but these other three, you must run. Uh, the evasion skill is actually pretty good. Pretty decent. Because what you can do in the beginning is, for example, deal some damage, apply the freeze and burn immunity or something. Let's say if you need it because the enemy, let's say they apply freeze or something or they try to burn you you could go ahead and do that so they will miss that or it'll prevent you from um, getting that effect and then once you do that uh what you can do next turn is apply evasion to yourself get the extra turn i guess you could go a calm mind or above fear and anger then once you have that extra turn you can do another one okay while well, you have evasion for one more turn that'll um prevent all the incoming damage which is kind of good uh so we're just gonna test it out in battle and see how that goes but looks like shares as amulet i mean it's up to you if you have shares as amulet you can't equip it it's not the best relic to run um once the battle begins the wears maximum stamina is increased no not no thank you i mean not i don't think we really need that right um, there's kinetic amulet, so after being damaged by a skill, a random ally's strength increase. Um, you can run that. I think the best one that I have right now has to be this, the shares of amulet. Okay. Actually, let me take a look at that other kinetic amulet. After being damaged by a skill, a random ally's strength is increased. Uh, what about this one? This was supercharged. Okay, never mind. We're going to go ahead and equip that. And we're set. Okay. We didn't equip the runes though. So for the runes, here's what I recommend running. Okay. You want to go with three team speeds. So in this case, I have two level eight team speeds. And then I think I have a level seven. All right, level seven. The full team speed on this monster. This is going to be the type of monster that holds all um, team speeds basically. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to change you. And we're going to swap you with this monster, which is Moon. There we go. Moon Mang, we got him. You're going to run either your tank or attacker. And then it could be your denier or attacker on the last one. Depending on uh, what you run on your second one. So if you have Linworm, you can go ahead and run Linworm. It's really up to you. I'm just going to run Armor Claw here. Not a big deal, right? Go ahead and leave this. We're gonna do this. Fight again. Let's hope we find a better opponent. Okay, so here's the thing. That monster applies burnings and stuff, right? Um That's good. You you have anticipation. So I can actually showcase that one skill that basically triggers it. I'll go ahead and apply nightmares of the street. 5,000 power. That's as a shark. See? Okay, so the monster died, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. If you have in a revival lesson equipped on him, he'll come back. But in this case, this player is running three attackers, which is pretty interesting. I think I'm about to lose him. Honestly, I could probably end up winning this, but 
At the same time, I can't win the battle. But yeah, I could have ended up winning this battle for sure. Like here, I could have, for example, blinded you. I didn't even... No, I don't even have to blind you. Your accuracy is already reduced by a ton. You have Sunbrain and you have Blind. I could have just maybe used like Singing for You or something, right? And that dealt some damage or something. Or I could have triggered this. Triggered the Inspiration with the Reaper skill. You'll lose a ton of health. You'll probably end up missing as well. And then next turn I could use Singing for You. Um, but let me just go on and leave because that didn't go very well. The monster died super quickly because the enemy, uh, they're kind of... Harsh. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, what could I do? I'm just gonna go with Nightmares in the Street since there's a tank monster there. We can't really do much about it. Let's hope he misses. Blow the ashes. Okay, you missed. That's good. We're just gonna go with Save Rossi God here. Reduce their accuracy a little more. Alright. Uh, did you cleanse everything? Never mind. It wasn't a cleanse kill. I don't think he has one of those. So now I'm gonna cleanse. Alright, please use I duel you. Oh. Fire Meteor. He comes back. So I'm immune to control. Basically, if they tried stunning me or anything, that was the case. Um, I won't really take that. So since this monster already died. And I have zero remaining essence for this monster, so the monster won't die, won't come back after dead, right? What I can do here is, for example, apply this, that will give me an extra turn. And then with this extra turn, what I can do is use one of these skills, but I'm not going to do that since there is skill mirror here. So there, they have skill mirror, so if I use any of these skills, they'll have it too. But you know what, that's fine. It's alright. Above fear and anger applies immunity to stun and daze. I don't think we really need that. Freeze and burn? Maybe. Possession, corruption, immune to blind. Let's just go with the freeze and burn. Okay? So he's gonna do it back since he had the skill mirror. Shares his amulet kicked in, did some um, damage and also removed their stamina. I'm just gonna cleanse all of their um, positives. Or at least on one of them. Alright. Go ahead and try burning me or whatever. Their accuracy is so bad that it keeps on missing. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and rank this monster up to rank 1 now. Okay? So, so far we haven't seen nothing crazy from this monster. Um, I mean, in general, I don't think he's that insane. Uh, so now you get immune to blind, which uh, is... The rank 1 immunity is the trait. So, you'll have it as long as you have the trait. Um, so, you get about 6,756 speed, 8,964 power, and 89,691 life with 200 stamina. Now that we're ready, this is rank 1, we're gonna go ahead and take it to PvP. And let's battle, alright? Um, so, it's 130s. Two of them are 130s, and then the last one is a 126. Let's see how this goes. So, I'm not gonna use Nightmares of the Street because this will just well, sort of kind of like blind them, right? Because I want their effects, I want them to try to apply those effects on me, if that makes sense. But I definitely want to get rid of that, the accuracy. So, let me go ahead and charge up. I'll get rid of the legendary. Because I don't want you to apply triple damage. Fire weakness. Alright, so charge up here. Now that it's Moon Mang's turn. You have the evasion. Extra turn. And here, I could apply the immune to burn. Since I'm facing... What's his name? Heist, right? And you guys know Heist applies burns and stuff. So, that's good. Um, see how he didn't take any income and damage? That's because the monster owns... Um, evasion for one more turn so I'll just use pursue your passion here of course you'd attack him because of the um, taunt huh uh, immune to possession and corruption immune to blind stun and daze I'll go with this I guess fight for the users 
Okay, the monster will definitely die here. But it's okay, you're gonna resurrect. And what I can do is get the vision, get the extra turn. Um, I have immune to freeze and burn. I could reapply that real quick. So Heist tries to apply the burning. Well, you actually didn't. Oh, we get to test the ultimate. So basically what it does removes all negative status effects, applies evasion, double damage, and immune to control. If I don't use it now, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead by next turn. So let's go ahead and reapply our evasion. We have immune to control now, double damage. Um, and if any of my attackers, like for example, Armor Claw or the other monster, it doesn't even have to be an attacker, were alive, um, I could have had double damage on them, which was uh, which would have been really good. So the evasion, it looks like it's for two turns, I believe. Let me see. I think it's two turns. I'm going to apply this real quick. Yeah, the evasion is for two turns. Um, but look, you can reapply the evasion here. Get the extra turn, charge up. So you have evasion for one more turn. And look, that did zero damage because of the evasion. Now, if I had the ultimate again, I could have reapplied that over and over again. It would have been super fun, but uh, also pretty broken. Um, so, that right there is a rank 1 Moon Mang. We're going to quickly get it to rank 2 now. Um, and then, of course, after rank 3. So, I'm going to quickly show you guys the stats at 120 real quick. For those of you that are just going to get it to 120 or so, right? Or have enough food just to get it to 120. Those are the stats. And um, here we go. Now, it is rank 3. So, this is when you get the 50% damage mirror on the status caster. So... Uh, not the best thing to have because it can be cleansed and there are many mythics nowadays that can actually cleanse that easily or legendaries actually people use legendaries as well um so we added to 130 stats are here and let's go ahead and test this out what i'm gonna do actually is get rid of you two real quick put two random monsters in here doesn't matter who it is and what I'm going to do is run die Gale with Bombetta. Alright, so I found myself a decent base. Um, it's good because this player is running Vampira Stroll. And you know Vampira Stroll does a blind with one of her, I believe, AoE skills. So let's say if she ends up getting rid of my Megatons on my tank. What I could do with Moon Link would be to apply immune to taze and immune to blind or whatever so let me quickly get rid of your tank monster here oh i was pretty close 27k damage or 27k life left so we're kind of close there hmm. so this right here immune to daze you could go ahead and um apply that or immune to blind when it done really up to you so since she since she already gotten rid of that it wasn't actually or it was Tabora that did it. But I'm gonna go ahead and quickly apply the immune to possession, corruption, and the blind. Well, mainly the blind, okay? So the blind is for everyone. Now, I want her to go ahead and use the Nightmares on the Street. So as you guys saw, Nightmares on the Street, um, it only worked on, mainly on uh, Daigale, my attacker, because she used the Reaper skill, which basically cleansed all the positive side effects. So it can't be cleansed, unfortunately, but um, she wasn't able to land it on everybody. I'm not sure if it's a he or she, but Moonlang, let's just say Moonlang, um, didn't take the blind, okay? Didn't work out on him. I could just go ahead and cleanse here, or I could have regained my Mega Taunt, but it's okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use DL6. And I'll, since I don't have my Mega Taunt here to have me protected, I could just use the evasion skill, right? And now, I could use one of these three skills to deal damage or just for fun, right? That didn't land because I have immune to blind. Total blind blocked because, of course, of the immune to blind. That is the fact that I applied. So it does come in handy in some cases. Sudden days. Sure, we'll just do this for fun though. You went ahead and use that. Bleeding blocked. Oh, okay. No, the bleeding part, it was blocked because of his trait. Okay? It wasn't because Moonlink applied something. <laughs> okay. So anyways, uh, we got it to rank 3. That right there was a rank 3. We're going to quickly get it to rank 4. I'll show you guys the stats. And then finally, 
rank 5 for anybody that's interested in getting this monster to rank 5. Um, is it worth investing in this monster? Not really, to be honest. There is a better mythic, I'd say. That'll be... What's the name? Noagnarok. Noagnarok, I'd say, is better in my opinion. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and quickly rank it up to rank 5 here. This is level 150. Rank 5, Moonling. And we're just going to quickly get it to level 150 so you have about 17,264 power 200 1,626 life 10,368 speed so with that being said this right here is a 150 moon link and we're gonna go on and take it to pvp let's see how this goes uh okay another oh this is actually perfect this is the type of team that i was looking for the whole time seriously okay so i could go ahead and apply it already I'm gonna go with a blind and possession. This monster applies the blind, the other applies the possession. Um, and I also have the immune to stun skill, so later on I could use that as well since uh, Moon Haze does use that skill. So I'm gonna quickly do that. I'll just charge up here in this case. Please go ahead and cleanse it real quick. I need Vampira. Vampira should have went first, honestly. Vampira, go ahead and cleanse that Megaton, please. Go on and do your thing. So you use a Reaper and try using Nightmares on the street. Oh, bloody Dutter. It's okay. That's all right. Um, I'll just apply the immune to stun. Okay. So I have immunity to stun now, which is kind of good. So that monster tries to stun me. It's not going to work, guys. It's not going to work. They went for my tank for some reason. I'm not sure if I had my Megaton still. But if I didn't have my Megaton, then that's why they went for my tank. I'll just charge up here. Nightmares on the street. See, the bleeding... Not the bleeding, sorry. The blind didn't land because of that. Because of my trait. I could go ahead and apply Evasion. Get an extra turn. Let's not talk about it. Um, <laughs> so, But he's back with the... Um, relic. I could use this real quick. Get rid of the other two. Now it's just down to Moon Haze. The sun that on land because the monster has immunity to control. Uh, you get it at rank 0. Level 100. You already have it already. So here for example I could go with the immune to daze and stun skill. Or I could reapply the evasion. Get an extra turn. Which would be the best thing to do here. And use one of them. Um, but let's say if it wasn't enough to actually end up eliminating this moon haze, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, let me just charge up here. You see, I have my evasion here. Now I could have just used a skill just like before and end up eliminating moon haze. But anyways, um, overall this monster isn't a game breaking type of mythic. Uh, it's up to you if you want to rank it up to 140 or so because I'm sure everybody's gonna get it to 130 because they get a 130 free monster if you complete the whole pass um, but overall not really a big fan of this monster's skills but it's decent I'd say it's decent uh, in my opinion it's not better than Noagnarok you guys can let me know in the comments who you think is better this monster or Noagnarok I'd probably have to go with Noagnarok that's just my personal opinion but um yeah, that's uh, rank 5 uh, Moonlink there. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and also subscribe with notifications on. Share this with a friend or so and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.